This is now my third video testing out the performance improvements in Monster Hunter Wilds after the title update 4 on PC. In my first video, I noticed that GPU performance improved by about 5% on a 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte. But I noticed that on my CPU, testing on a Ryzen 5 5600X, performance was actually significantly worse after the update. In the comment section, a bunch of people asked me about deleting the shader cache, uh, what about my my GPU drivers, etc. So I released a second video testing all of that out and none of it solved the problem. However, I have now tried again. This time I tried doing nothing. Now, what do I mean by that? I tried sitting in one place for a really long time and it worked, <laughs> but why would this possibly work? So when I was reading through the comment section where people were arguing about whether they had performance improvements or worse performance or the same performance, I noticed a number of comments saying that their performance was worse like mine, but then it eventually got better. And what that made me think is, I wonder if with this title update, they shifted some of the shader compilation away from the initial shader compilation compilation screen when you load the game, which I didn't time, I wish I had pre and post patch, because my feeling uh, of the time it took was that it was quicker after the Title 4 update than it was on the Title 3 update. Uh, because to be clear, on both the Title 3 testing I did and the Title 4 testing, it was fresh game install, fresh, uh, yeah, you know, fresh drivers, all, all of that. So uh, it did that shader pre-compilation uh, screen, both times I loaded up the game, but my impression of Title Three update was, you know, uh, it took a really long time. Go do the dishes, go get a snack, come back, it might still be running. The Title Four update seemed quicker than that, still a noticeable shader compilation, but again, I didn't actually time it. Uh, so my thought here is, if they've moved shader compilation, at least some of it, to happen asynchronously when you're actually playing the game, then if you just wait long enough, will it finally complete? Now, if I skip ahead in this testing, uh, quite a ways, I think we need to go like 15, 20 minutes into standing still here. You'll notice, uh, again, CPU usage still the limiting factor, still low, but we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Uh, and eventually, if I keep moving forward, right here, you'll notice that the performance suddenly spikes up and the CPU is no longer as close to 100% utilization. Now we're still CPU limited, the GPU usage is low, and there's probably some individual thread limiting performance here, but suddenly the behavior is very, very different. So after doing that, I then decided to actually uh, run tests. So um, I had run a fresh test, that's what we're seeing here on the left. So this is not my initial testing, this was literally, I ran this test and at the end of the test, I got off my mount, stood here, and waited. Then, uh, after waiting and noticing CPU performance suddenly spike a little bit uh, better, um, after waiting long enough, and it seemed to be consistent once we waited long enough, right? After that, I just went back to the title screen, uh, reloaded the save, and that's what we're seeing here on the right-hand side. So this is before waiting and after waiting. Uh, same day, this is all this morning, right before filming this video. And what do you know, my performance has increased by 23%. This is again, CPU limited performance on both sides. Uh, it's running on a Ryzen 5 5600X. It's the same system. It's this, it's, it's all I did was just sit there and wait for a bit. If you're noticing some visual differences, keep in mind that there's dynamic weather. So the cloud cover can slightly vary and make things look slightly different between runs. Uh, but that's what this is, uh, same driver version. By the way, this is the, um, uh, because the latest drivers uh, have been reported as causing issues. These tests are both running on um, uh, going drivers back to the ones that the Monster Hunter Wilds team has stated are safe. Uh, so I think it's like 25.9.1. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're seeing here. Also notice the 1% lows have improved by 39%. So massive improvement compared to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, before just sitting there and waiting. So as far as I can tell, what they've done that caused the worse performance on the CPU is it seems like they've shifted some of the shader compilation to happen asynchronously while you're playing the game. Now, what I can't confirm from this testing is whether you, you're going to encounter this 
every time you enter a new zone, or if this is specifically like once that initial shader burn is done, then you're just good to go. Now, CPU performance certainly hasn't improved, but we're at least back to around where we started. I'm actually showing slightly worse performance, not by much, uh, but remember I'm now on the 25.9.1 drivers, uh, whereas my initial testing in my original video uh, was on the, the newer drivers um, before I had tried regressing them in this video based on the patch notes saying that there could potentially be issues and I was isolating for that variable. Hey, since we're here, I also tested out another thing because I noticed that some people were saying that they saw huge performance increases, whereas my testing was showing that when we were GPU limited and I, I was getting a performance increase, it was only about 5%. But I noticed the people who said they were getting big performance increases and listed their specs, they tended to be on eight gigabyte graphics cards. So the good news is I did have a few title up th uh, update three runs on my 5060 Ti eight gigabyte version, which I could then compare to some fresh testing on the title four update. And that's what we're looking at here. Uh, so, and I've tested it at all of the presets. Now I didn't test my eight gigabyte card with, uh, with uh, DLSS uh, resolution scaling turned on. So this is all native resolution at 1440p. So at 1440p ultra, I can see a 18% performance uplift uh, between the Title 3 update and the Title 4 update. Notice that now we're using a 9800X 3D based CPU system. Uh, so we are not running into CPU limited performance issues. This is all GPU performance. Um, so previously, the game, at, at least what we're seeing here on the ultra settings, was struggling more on the 8GB graphics card than it is currently. So performance has improved. So it seems like they're doing something better with how it handles of the VRAM situation. Now, I think we're still over eight gigabytes of VRAM and you can see a couple of spikes just happened on the frame time graph right here as we kind of came into a new area. So I still think the eight gigabyte cards are having some problems on the ultra settings, at least at 1440p, but it seems to be handling it a lot better than it was previously. Now, that being said, as soon as you get a few monsters on the screen, we're still well below 60 FPS here. So I'm not saying the game is like super well optimized, but it's certainly running better on the eight gigabyte card than we saw previously. Now I was curious, um, turning down settings, if we would continue to see the eight, uh, the eight gigabyte VRAM card have as noticeable improvements or if it was just on the ultra settings. Uh, so I did go ahead and test out uh, the high settings as well. So 1440p high settings, I'm seeing the average frame rate here improve from 53 to 61. That's a 15% improvement. By the way, the benchmark pass that I'm using here, some people think I'm using the, the benchmark tool, which did not get updated with this patch. Saw that in my comment section on my last videos. This is the mission one uh, in the game where you're on this uh, sacred ride or secret ride, however you pronounce this animal. I do, again, I've it said in the other videos, I don't really play this game. People just wanted me to test it out. I, I tried the game and just kind of bounced off, didn't find it enjoyable. But um, this ride at the beginning of mission one is scripted to where you can take your hands off the controls and get a repeatable uh, a repeatable run for apples to apples comparisons. That's what I'm using here for the testing. Anyway, uh, so the high settings here, again, we're seeing a 15% performance increase um, from title update three to title update four on the eight gigabyte card. Remember, we saw a performance up, up uh, <laughs> saw a performance improvement on the 16 gigabyte card, but it was much less than 15%. Um, so it's showing that some of the improvement is more noticeable on the eight gigabyte card. So I also tested out medium settings to see if we would still see any uh, noticeable improvements. And here on the medium settings, we're noticing an 11% improvement. I'm seeing a 57 FPS run become a 63 FPS run. So again, noticeable improvement here. And then going down to the low settings, I saw things improve as well, but this time only by 6%. Now this is more in line with what I was seeing on the 16 gigabyte card. So in other words, it seems like at the ultra settings, high settings and medium settings, in the title update three, the eight gigabyte card was having uh, some issues where the 16 gigabyte card was not, show, which is why title update four has 
uh, apparently is, is showing some improvements on the eight gigabyte cards, how they're handling the VRAM situation. And that's why we're seeing more performance increase on the eight gigabyte 5060 Ti than what we're seeing uh, on the, what I saw on the 16 gigabyte card. Now on the um, low settings, we're now seeing performance in line with the 16 gigabyte card, showing that these settings weren't having issues on the eight gigabyte card, at least that showed up in this particular test run. I also tested out the lowest settings and they really seemed about the same as what I was seeing on the low settings. Um, so I'm wondering if the performance preset, I didn't look at every individual setting that gets used. Um, I'm turning off the upscaling. So one of the differences between the presets, if you just click the preset and don't adjust upscaling, is that they use different levels of upscaling. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the um, lowest settings go to ultra performance mode DLSS, but I'm disabling that. So I think that's why we're seeing about the same performance here. Uh, so basically we can make some conclusions now uh, further than what I could initially. So it looks like CPU performance has not necessarily gotten worse overall. It's just they made a change to their to how they are dealing with shader compilation um, on your initial boot of the game. It seems like they've offloaded it. Some of some more of it happened during gameplay, perhaps to reduce the length of the shader compilation screen. But that means people who are CPU limited, and this game gets CPU limited at pretty low frame rates, meaning a lot of people are likely to be CPU limited, are now going to have an, um, worse performance at the beginning than they otherwise uh, would have. I, I don't think this was a good choice. Um, again, things that I'm not able to test based on the tests I was able to run on the title update three, which I can't really change now, uh, is I'm not sure how this behavior um, you know, compares to loading into new zones if you continue to play the game. Are we gonna continue to see that, et cetera? So that's still kind of a question mark. Uh, but at least I do now have something of a, you know, fix, at least for this initial zone, which is to just uh, let the game sit there for a while <laughs> um, before you play it. And it should probably uh, finish up that shader pre-compilation and suddenly get some uh, increased performance on the CPU uh, after a while. Also, it does look like I can confirm better performance on eight gigabyte cards than pr uh, pre the patch. And then the um, 16 gigabyte cards, in other words, cards that weren't VRAM limited saw only like a 5% improvement. But cards that were VRAM limited have potentially seen um, better improvements than that. So that's good to see. They've also patched, uh, sorry, promised future patches to further increase performance. But uh, at least for now, I think I'm finally done. I have figured out what happened. <laughs> so uh, that's what happened. Anyway. I hope all of you found the video useful and or interesting and have an excellent day.